Hello guys and welcome to my fall body care collection video. So in today's video, I'm just going to be going through my entire fall body care collection with you guys. I have accumulated quite a few over the past couple of years. I have some that are specifically Halloween and then I have some that are fall. I had a couple more that I thought might be included in this, but honestly, they're more like year-round scents, so I didn't include things like Vanilla Romance and Midnight Amber Glow, so those aren't included, but I'm just going to go through all of my fun fall fragrances with you guys, so let's get started. First things first, we have to go with Pumpkin, get it out of the way. Honestly, everything that I have that is Pumpkin is in my fall project use it up so all of the stuff you guys have already seen but i'll just run through it quickly with you guys and i'll let you know kind of a quick overview of if i like these products or not um if i'd repurchase them if i want them to come back that kind of thing so first we have dove holiday treats body scrub and cinnamon pumpkin pie this one is so so yummy it is in my project i love the Dove formula. I think it's really nice and gentle so you could use it kind of every day or every other day and not be irritated. So I really, really like this stuff. This one smells so delicious and I haven't yet smelled this year's collection. This is from last year actually. So let me know if the pumpkin scent from this year's collection smells like this one or smells different. Let me know. I have not been able to spot it in stores at my Walmart yet. They've always been sold out. So let me know if you guys already have that. And then I have the Philosophy Pumpkin Icing Shower Gel. I am obsessed with this one. It smells honestly just like cream cheese icing with some pumpkin pie spice mixed in. It is so delicious smelling and really, really fun to use in the shower because it definitely permeates the room the warmer like the shower is. So it smells really good. And then from this year, I have Pumpkin Swirl Cake from Bath & Body Works in the body cream. I didn't pick it up in anything else. And you know what? I might actually pick up maybe a lotion or something to save for next year because I'm really, really enjoying it. It is super gourmand and very heavy smelling. So I wouldn't recommend if you're not a spice kind of girly or a gourmand girly, I would not recommend this one for you, but I love it. The notes are pumpkin spice, caramel toffee, and creamy vanilla. I think the caramel toffee really makes it kind of a heavier scent. So I like this one, even though it's not even like cold here yet, I'm still really enjoying it. So I think I'll probably pick up something else in this one and save it for next year. And then we have the classic white pumpkin and chai. So I have the spray from 2020 and the lotion from 2021. And the way that I know the um, dates on these is if you look at the bottom of the lotion, there should be a code printed on the bottom, not on the sticker, but actually on the physical bottle. And the first number, in that code is going to be the year. So this one has a one, so 2021 or 2011, which I know it's not 2011 because I know this one is very recent, but it could be. Same with four, it could be 2014 or 2024. So this one is a zero, so this one is 2020. But anyways, white pumpkin and chai is cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin and vanilla glaze. So I guess you could kind of say this is also a apple scent. It's kind of similar to pumpkin apple, a lot yummier, and just more body care smelling. It is spicy, and it's not really gourmand, I would say. It's more kind of like fruity almost, so I love this one. It's one of my staples every fall. They haven't brought it back, I think, since 2021 when this one, this packaging line came out, and they usually bring it out around Thanksgiving, so there's a possibility that this one could still come out like late October, but I doubt it. Um, so yeah, I love this one. I wish they would bring it back. It's one of my favorites. And then I just have one little pocket back in pumpkin pecan waffles. I actually really enjoyed pumpkin pecan waffles in the body care when it came out last year. Um, I had it in the shower gel and it was so good. So definitely recommend the body care for pumpkin pecan waffles. Did it come back this year? I'm like kind of blanking. I don't remember if it came back or not. I'm sure you guys know, and I'm sure like I know, but I can't think of it right now while I'm recording this. So anyways, pumpkin pecan waffles, really good one. So I'm gonna go through some scents that aren't in my project, use it up for you guys. And that is some sprays. So these ones are just like one-off kind of sprays. The first one is going to be Vanilla Mocha Cafe. This one is not in my fall project, use it up because I don't really wanna finish it. It is so good. So this one is from 2020. And this is the first iteration of Vanilla Mocha Cafe. It's also come out in Vanilla Mocha Cream. 
and I think vanilla mocha martini around the like New Year's time last year, like December of last year of 2023. So this one's come out in many different forms and iterations. It's such a good scent. It really is just like vanilla, chocolate, a little bit of coffee. It is so, so good and like really feels warm and cozy. So this is one of my absolute favorites like of all time and I would definitely get it again. I almost brought out my Midnight Amber Glow, but it's not technically a fall scent. It came out in the fall for the first time. So I think of it as a fall scent but it really is a year round scent for me. I would wear Midnight Amber Glow in March just as much as I'd wear it in October. So anyways, that's this one. Another one that's not in my Project Use It Up is Everlasting Magic from Halloween of last year. This one was kind of fun. I really enjoyed this whole line last year. It was very like pink Halloween-y. The notes are Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. Now they replaced this one with Ghoul Friend because that one was also, that one is also like a fruity floral. This one to me is really fun. Not one of my favorite scents because it is a little bit floral and I'm not a floral person. So I really have to be in the mood for this one, but it smells great. It lasts really long and the packaging is just super cute. So that's Everlasting Magic from last year. And then yes, these ones, well, this one is in my fall project, use it up. This is Vampire Blood and the full size fine fragrance mist. And then also in the mini. So this one is from last year, from 2023. And this little mini is from 2021 and it is like purple. Let me shake it up a little bit. It is purple glitter. It's so cute. This one to me is honestly just like a collector's item. I've really only used it a little bit. Um, I don't love the shimmer sprays to be honest because I don't find myself reaching for them. They kind of just like get all over my clothes and I don't enjoy that. But sometimes if I'm going for that look of like body glitter, then I'll put this on. But this one's just really fun and I like having this. This is actually Happy Halloween is like the scent name, but it is Vampire Blood. But this one has the notes on it. It's red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. I know Vampire Blood is some people's like absolute favorite. To me, it's definitely more of like, I'll have it in the hand soap, but I don't really need it every year. I think it's nice. I think the berries are really yummy, but it's not really a fall scent in my opinion because it is just like a jasmine berry scent. It really could be a year round scent to me. Um, not like, I'm not gonna die over it, but it is nice and I could see why people absolutely adore Vampire Blood. And then I have two more sprays. These are in my project Use It Up. So the first one is Almond Blossom. <laughs> Now, yes, I realize this is not necessarily a fall scent, but to me, it is perfect for the fall time. I will put the notes down below because I don't know them off the top of my head. This one is so, so good and cozy. This one really just evokes like cold, crisp autumn leaves to me. Like maybe you're going on a date night in the fall and you're gonna sit on the patio and have like a glass of wine and charcuterie in like the 60, 50 degree weather and you're just sitting out there with like a leather jacket on and you feel really feminine and girly. This one is really beautiful and very upscale too. And then we have Bonfire Bash, one of my favorites. Now this one hasn't come out for a few years. Um, this one is from 2020, I wanna say, yeah, 2020. And the notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. This one, I think, is super similar to Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, except this one has that alcohol kind of note, and this one doesn't. So this one is super, super sugary sweet. It is very beautiful. I think this one is the softest, sweetest vanilla that I own, and it really does smell like marshmallows, like roasted marshmallows. This one is so yummy. Honestly, really good for summer as well as fall. This one I think has actually come out in a summer collection in like a 4th of July packaging. So it's come back. It's like come back every other year or so. I love this one. If you like a simple, sweet vanilla, you would love Bonfire Bash. This one is so, so good. I wish it would come out back out again because I would love to pick it up in a body lotion or body cream. I think in a moisturizer, it would just be so yummy, but I have this one left in the spray and it's pretty much almost done, so. So I'll go ahead and go into my Cozy Vanilla Bourbon collection. So I do have three items in Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, which just came back out this fall as well. So this one is from last year. This is in the body cream and Cozy Vanilla Bourbon is warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. So this one is a very gourmand, heavy, heavy, heavy vanilla. It definitely has like an alcoholic note with the bourbon. So it's kind of strong and I could see how some people would get like headaches from this. 
because it is a very, very strong scent. And this body cream lasts on me for a very long time. I can smell it. If I put it on at night, I can smell it the morning after. Like it smells super strong. And then I also have it in the body wash, which I haven't used yet. I'm kind of saving it for when I'm gonna feel super cozy. But again, it does have a very alcoholic kind of note. And then I have the mini fine fragrance mist with, I don't think that I've ever used this. So let's give it a little spray. Ooh, that alcohol note kind of burnt my nose hairs. That was really strong. Anyways, that's this one. It's very good. It's super gourmand and like heavy for a vanilla, but it is really yummy. Okay, let's go through my apple scents. These I think are the perfect like September scent. This is just champagne, apple, and honey. <laughs> like this whole collection is just champagne, apple, and honey. If you guys are apple people, you will love this one. And if you like champagne toast, this one is super similar to champagne toast. So the notes are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. So this is definitely not a gourmand scent. It's much more of a fruity scent. It's got that light sparkling champagne note that champagne toast has. It's really, to me, just super similar to champagne toast, just with a little bit of red delicious apple in there. And it's so yummy. So this one is my perfect transition into fall scent. I love the packaging that came out in this year's collection. I think it's super cute and very cozy. And yeah, I like this one a lot, especially for hot weather fall. And I think it's really yummy and just fruity and fun. And I forgot to mention, I do also have it in the mini fine fragrance mist, which I think is from, yeah, two years ago, 2022. And the last thing that I have in my fall body care collection is two items in Wicked Vanilla Woods. And this is this year's packaging. These, I think this year was online exclusives only, but this one was available last year in stores as well. So you might see two different types of packaging on this one. I think this year's packaging is really nice and like dark and witchy and just looks really cool for Halloween. Kind of giving me like Slytherin vibes as well with the snake on the front. But the notes on this are magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. So I really didn't think that I would like this one, but I picked it up last year in, I think just a hand soap and I absolutely adored it. So I picked it up this year in the body care and both Ryan and myself, so Ryan's my boyfriend, have been using it in the shower and I love this. It is so nice, especially after I've done like a morning workout. This one is really good. That pink pepper really gives a little bit of spice for fall and it is definitely a unisex scent. It's a little bit more masculine. I think it's really fun and sexy. And the body lotion I used for the first time last night, it's amazing. It smells so good. It makes you feel really clean. I guess it's like the amberwood or something, but it smells really clean and fresh. And I just think it's really fun. So there's a fun one for you guys if you wanna branch out into something a little bit out of your comfort zone, I definitely recommend trying Wicked Vanilla Woods. And if you just wanna try it in the hand soap, that's a great way to start with it. So that is everything for my fall body care collection. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't have too much. I think I think I have a reasonable amount to be able to finish within one year and then carry over whatever else I don't. But that's it for my fall collection. Let me know down below, what do you guys have that you've been holding on to for a few years? Like what's your favorite that you want them to bring back? Or what are you super happy about that they brought out this year? Like I know a lot of people are really happy that Goldfriend is finally out in body care. So anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.